The top 25 under 25 is back for another summer and Raw Charge wants your input to help decide the rankings. Raw Charge Every year here at Raw Charge, we get you updated on the Bolt youth movement. We start by ranking the best 25 players under age 25, and then we bring you profiles on all 25 of those players individually. This year, we're opening up the rankings to readers directly. Just like we did with the player grades after, you can submit your own rankings and we'll compile those along with our staff and share the results starting next week. Victor Hedman was MICD up for the NHL awards, and it was iconic. Tampa Bay is once again in the heart of trade rumors surrounding Eric Carlson. The sea cost will be high, unless they are forced to take on Bobby Ryan's $7.25 million contract. NBC Sports, the Lightning have some good prospects like Cal Foote, Taylor Radish and a few others, but the Sens will likely want immediate help, too. Would the Lightning give up a Braden Point or a Mikhail Sijachov? Probably not. So is there enough there for these two sides to make a deal? It'll be up to GM Steve Eisenman to get creative. The prospects the Lightning brought five wares to their development camp last weekend. Austin Friesen of the official website gives a synopsis of those five players heading into the summer. WHL.ca Connor Ingram's name came to the spotlight when he represented Canada at the IIHF World Junior Championship, but his impressive play started much before that. In 2016-17, Ingram posted a 2.44 GAA and a .927 SVS percent in his final with the Kamloops Blazers. He went on last year to post a 2.33 GAA and .914 with the Syracuse Crunch in the AHL. Next is going to be lit as the Syracuse Crunch head into their 25th. A new 25th anniversary logo as well as celebrations throughout the air are going to be unveiled all summer. Syracuse Crunch, the logo features the number 25 enclosed in a circle with Syracuse Crunch written around the top. Below the number is the primary Crunch logo in front of a ribbon with the years 1994 and 2019, representing the franchise's first and the year of the team's 25th. And few in case you missed it bits of news, Crunch captain Eric Condra has signed a deal with the Dallas Stars, so we'll be seeing him in the Calder Cup Finals against Texas for sure. Also, Alex Gallant has made his way into the Vegas Golden Knights organization. The game Calvin DeHaan has made his decision and will be taking his talents to rally, to play for the Carolina Hurricanes. For or defense that is right side heavy, bringing in a left shooting DeHaan is a good move for the Keens. Keens country, the Hurricanes announced late Tuesday that they have signed former New York Islanders defenseman Calvin DeHaan to a four-year contract worth $18.2 million, for an average annual value of $4.55 million. It was a pretty simple decision, DeHaan told the media on a conference call Tuesday night. I get to play with one of the best young blue lines in the NHL. That to me is very important. I want to be part of the solution here. I feel like I can help this team win. I mean, it's Calvin DeHaan, but someone convinced an actual free agent not named Williams to choose Carolina over other options. This is a weird feel, Megat Love and Hydrogen July 4, 2018 Calvin DeHaan, what 200 hockey men have thought Jack Johnson was for over a decade, Ryan Wilson at Gunner Style July 4, 2018 The New York Islanders were a part of the other two notable transactions of the day, first by signing hot-headed goaltender Robin Leonard to a one-year $1.5 million contract. Lighthouse Hockey, Lena has struggled with injuries and consistency, but HES been on bad teams more often than not. At 26, Hopi he can find stability under Barry Trotz, and perhaps Mitch Korn, the longtime Trotz goaltending coach who has reportedly at least had talks with the Islanders. HES also, however, talked with the Capitals about remaining in D.C. They also reacquired enforcer Matt Martin after he spent twos in Toronto. The deal was a pure cap dump as the Maple Leafs only received an ECHL goaltender for their expansion Newfoundland Growlders in return. Sportsnet, the deal sends Martin back to the Islanders, where he spent the first sevens of his NHL career before signing with Toronto in 2016. He found great chemistry on New York's fourth line with Casey Sizikas and Cal Clutterbuck, a trio which could be reunited after this move. The 29-year-old has two years remaining on a contract that carries a $2.5 million cap hit.